Wow, that's actually a pretty big deal. Two American hostages, mother and daughter released by Hamas. That's good. I mean, good for them. I'm glad they're safe. <laughs> Great, now we can leave. Yeah. American hostages being released from Hamas. Diplomatic source. Two, two, two. Okay, who facilitated this? The two are being released on humanitarian grounds because the mother is in poor health, the same source said. It's unclear whether they will leave Gaza into Egypt or Israel. This is the result of negotiations between Qatar and Hamas that started after Hamas abducted Iraq. But Qatar? Bro, how f bad does it make Israel look that Qatar is the government that's securing the release of American hostages? Oh my f god, dude. Th thank you, Qatar. Thank you. Qatar has a nice flag, I think. Maybe that's why they released him. Out of respect for the, um... The nice flag. Red Cross says around 60 tons of aid has been mobilized and is ready to be sent to Gaza, including a four-man surgical team. We have some more supplies ready to go. Nice. Happy to hear that. Uh, hopefully they don't die like a bunch of the Red Crescent guys did. Did any American civilians die in the October 7th attack? Yeah. Didn't? Yeah. I'm almost certain I remember that happening. Yeah. Be because, you know, half of the population of Israel at any given point in time is Americans. Did anyone see that really funny video where there was this dipshit Israeli woman speaking with a perfectly clear American, like, New York accent, talking about how she was baking confectionaries for IDF soldiers to support them in their grand crusade for anti-jihad or whatever? And it's like, dude, so many of the people who are out here repping Israel from Israel aren't even Israeli. There was one comment that I really liked. It was like, you're telling me this place is the homeland of this chick more than like Palestinian families that were kicked out 20 years ago in the West Bank. Yeah, it's it, like the, here. Here is like the ancient glorious homeland of their people. And it's like recent first gen immigrants. Isn't BB from New York City? No, no, he was uh, born in Tel Aviv, though. I think he was educated in Chicago. The biggest Israeli nationalists are American evangel uh, evangelicals. Yeah, though they're not, they don't typically go and over like, they, they don't actually like live in Israel. BB is from Philly. Do you think he met the gang? Do you think that's why he is the way he is? I, I don't care about this in particular. What I care about is the lie about the death toll. The, the death toll that they lied about means that I don't really care about who actually fired the rocket. Because, like, if, if there's evidence of one gigantic lie, I guess I don't care that much about parsing out the details on the other side of things. Was that a dead body? No, that was just dust and plaster covered in the face of one woman. She moves in the video. Why would that overshadow Israel bombing a hospital? I think that when it comes to stuff like this through the fog of war, it's usually really important to focus on, like, one, like, big claim at a time. If we know that they lied about the death count, it makes me really uninterested in the other facts that matter, because the main thing I want the answer to is that, and unless I have an answer to that, I'm just gonna, like, that, my, that is, like, the thing I'm stuck on. I Because I think if you get into this, like, multi-tiered, you know, like, well, sure, they, like, exaggerated the death toll 20 times, but now let's argue about this. We already know that Hamas lied, like, massively, so now I don't have any reason to believe any version of their account, like, at all, and now it just becomes finagling over the details of rocket technicalities, which is something I'm not interested in. Yes, US Intel said that it was a, a rocket failure from uh, Hamas. Pentagon say between 100 and 300 people killed. US Intel assessment estimates 100 300 were killed in the Gaza hospital explosion. Da, 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 da. 100 to 300 range. Assess the number of casualties figures may evolve. US number the 500 staggering loss of a life. Okay, I guess we'll see. Khalid Mashal is the one Hamas leader that's currently hiding out in Qatar. Aren't a lot of the Hamas leaders hiding out in Qatar? What about the possibility of it being an Israeli artillery strike? It wouldn't be ar artillery. Yeah, most of their leadership is in Doha. Dude, imagine believing in jihad and not going out there in the front lines. Isn't martyrdom like the number one shit that jihadists believe in? What the f What about your virgins, dog? What about heaven, dog? Yeah, lacking commitment, okay? This is like the jihadi equivalent of the evangelical mega church pastors. This is the thread in the theory that it could be our artillery shell. Okay, to be clear, just so everyone understands, I don't care anymore. Um, the the only thing that I care about right now is the perceived dishonesty of Hamas at this point, because anything past this point now is like hyper complicated, like uh, finagling and technicalities over the specifics of like rocketry and missile dynamics, none of which I know enough about. Like initially, it seemed to me to be really clear that it was like a JDAM or some kind of missile fired from Israel, but then a bunch of evidence came out that it wasn't that. And then a bunch of, now people like, Al Jazeera is saying the opposite, and it's like, I don't know enough to weigh in on this, you know? I, I had, my, my knowledge on rocketry was at the level of, that's a big fireball, and it went whoosh before it went bang. That, that, that anything further from that, I have no, like, point, there's no point in commenting on. Though I am still really curious about the lie about the death toll. Many of the bodies were torn into pieces, I can see why they might have said 500. No, I didn't, stop, 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 stop. I'm gonna ban this topic. This is gonna turn into, like, the... 9-11 of this chat where it's it's like it, like past the point where there's any point in talking about this it's just like this infinite in, interminable engagement you know the most important part is innocent people die in the hospital yeah innocent people die and a lot of people lied okay who cares about the death toll lie it's pretty important no stop stop 
Stop. Not here. Not here, not today. Yeah, misfired rockets can't melt steel beams. Actually, I'm pretty sure that missiles can melt steel beams. <laughs> well, maybe they, they can destroy steel beams, at least. Sake Tanuki at the five tier one subs. I still vote for the relocate all Israelis to the US and make Moses land strategy. Yeah, I just give them like Wyoming or something. Is Israel even like good weather wise? I don't actually know. I mean, you're Mediterranean, but you're also pretty close to the equator. Isn't it really hot? Parts of it. What if we just gave you one of the like more temperate parts of Texas, like further north? That'd be pretty good. It'd be bigger than Israel too. Okay, we're going to find out today. The, the, the like northern part of Texas. If we just kind of smush it into a cube, we can make Amarillo the new Tel Aviv. Would it fit Florida? Okay, folks, Israelis, I know you want the Holy Land. However, have you considered Disneyland or Disney World, actually? Okay, we can fit you. Okay, you would have the best beaches in the world. All right, Flor listen, for all the problems with Florida, their beaches are not one of them. Florida's beaches are actually top tier. Disney would literally explode in his grave. Oh shit, you're right. Yeah, there's a slight chance of you guys getting haunted by um, Walt Disney. That's propaganda. Yeah, Florida's good, but it's not Mexico or Spain. Yeah, but like Mexico's beaches are amazing, sure, but they're the same beaches for a lot of it. Right down here? Oh, Ruben. He heard, um, he heard uh, yeah, he heard, uh, I'm the Chaz type. He's feeling round. Ooh. Wow. He's got you. Wow. Are you jealous of Ruben? Ruben can't perceive cringe. He doesn't know what it is. Oh, he's purring again. Why? Wow, what? Okay. Be free. Okay. Yeah, we needed a palate cleanser. 